Welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name's Maureen. I'm so happy that you're here today and that I am doing a pick a card reading for you about love. Today's reading is going to look at who your next boyfriend is and your job is just to choose a pile. You can listen to one or you can listen to all three. Whatever works for you, there are no rules. If you want to pause the video and see what you're drawn to, you can do that and then the timestamps are below. You can skip ahead. If you just want to listen to all three and then choose which information resonates, that works too. There are no rules. Have fun, sit back, relax, get a cup of tea, a drink, a snack. I always have my tea when I'm doing my readings. We're doing green tea today, so I will read you my little tea time message <laughs> during each one of the piles. Okay, guys, I'm back to my health regime today. Yay! Um, thank you for all your support and comments and for having a cup of tea with me. Okay, so now it's time. This is pile number one and I have the lover's card. Pile number two has the 10 of cups and pile number three has the two of cups. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Pile okay, number one, you chose the lover's card. These are your tarot cards for today. Let's look at your next boyfriend, who it is, how you might meet, what they might look like, um, your first card is the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Hanged Man, but that's reversed, and we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, you guys, so here's what I am seeing for you right now. Um, Whenever we start with the Two of Pentacles, it's really about like juggling, literally, you know, you can see in this card that she's juggling between two things, um, and it's sometimes it's about juggling, you know, you have two relationships or sometimes it can be juggling like work and home or family or there's like something that you're trying to keep balance of. OK, and so when this is reversed, I'm feeling like um, for some of you that has become a problem, whether it's like you're you're working all the time and you're not dating or um, your your family, you know, you have kids and you're back out dating. Maybe you've gone through a divorce and you don't the kids don't really want you to go or don't, you know, aren't into you meeting someone else. Um, and we also, so this reading, it, we also have the hangman and the nine of swords. So what I'm feeling for you guys is there's like lots of st stress and tension around love and around relationships right now. Um, and the message really is that, um, it's time for you if you've been sort of stuck or afraid to make a move because a lot of times with the nine of swords it's really all like staying up at night worrying about things it's all mental it's all in your head um and I feel like for you guys, for your next relationship, it's like the universe is saying, you know what, it's time for you to change your perspective. It's you've waited long enough or you've been paused long enough or you've held on to this old relationship long enough. It's like time to make a move, okay? Because the hangman card is all about like waiting taking a moment and figuring things out. When it's reversed, I feel like the universe is saying to you, okay, it's time for you to um, make a decision, especially with that two of pentacles. So I do feel in the nine of swords, there's some sort of decision um, for a lot of you. With, so it's like whether you're in a relationship now and you're unhappy or um, you haven't dated and you're like, I have to get back out there. I'm really unhappy with my work-life balance. Um, those kind of things. So now let's get some info about what's coming for you because this is really very focused on on like a state of being like stressed or a state of worry or a state of like I said being stuck or um, you know needing to make a change needing to make a move so I'm going to pull you a few more cards because I guess you guys just needed to hear that some of you and now we want to know about the next relationship okay and I feel like this also is telling us that the next relationship is going to be if you were always like stressed out in your past relationships or there was always conflict or there was always like this back and forth, that's coming to an end. 
Okay, so we have the Sun card, but it's reversed under that Two of Pentacles. Whoops, there we go. There's the King of Pentacles coming in right under that Hanged Man card and the Six of Swords. Beautiful. Under the Nine of Swords. I love this because the Nine of Swords is such stress, um, but the Six of Swords is about moving away from the stress and going to a moving away from rough waters and going to calm waters, which is exactly what I was feeling like. Um, and who is going to be that person that helps you make that move from um, chaos and, and like juggling to like stability and and just safety and security and like things not being crazy? The King of Pentacles. And so this is Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a male, older, someone established, somebody who's just responsible. Um, and I feel like this person is not going to give you um, a hard time. This person is going to help you to shine again. Because I feel like you've lost a little bit of some of your um, confidence. And this person is going to help you get your confidence back. For some of you, this person is moving towards you, like literally physically moving. Um, or you may be moving and then that's how you're going to meet. But there's this is a movement card. Okay, let's pull some oracle cards just to see more information about your next boyfriend number one and that x energy or for some of you that have been dating that could be your sign person that could be a libra gemini or aquarius that you're leaving behind okay if that's you please leave your comments below i'd love to hear your stories okay so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and capricorn beautiful okay you've got that hanged man you have the two of pentacles you have um the nine of swords that's tough stuff that's a tough cycle um and but we ended with the six of swords which is moving away from it so this is total confirmation and it's full moon and capricorn right under that king of pentacles which is a earth sign energy. So that is Capricorn energy coming through. So some of you, this person could be a Capricorn. Um, let's pull some animal spirit and see if we can get any details about this person and their personality for number one, please. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Wow, right under the sun reversed, you guys. And that is all about not feeling your beautiful self and not being able to shine in the world. The sun card is all about expressing yourself, showing who you are. Um, and that was reversed. So in the past or recent past or maybe now, you're about to make that change and know your worth. This person's going to help you know your worth. And the number nine is coming through, you guys. Okay. Ooh, wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom number 67 and look at those eyes so this always says to me those gray blue eyes this person has very intense eyes but very specifically that that gray blue um, color is coming through for this person and um, this person is like loves to travel in a pack has lots of friends I'm not getting the lone wolf with this guy I'm getting like the wolf pack and flamingo spirit embrace the in-between number 26 now that's that two of pentacles reverse that's being comfortable right now with the fact that um you know what things are changing and that releasing that nine of swords energy and that stress okay so i think that's what this message is and that's number 26 and that is an eight for you guys okay so let's pull a color oracle see what other messages we get for number one about your next boyfriend no I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take a break and have a sip of tea so um, I'm feeling like my throat is like a little scratchy today Ooh, comfort I love this and of course this is the color pink which is the heart 
which is love, which is romance and comfort with that King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is all about comfort. So what this is telling me is this person is comfortable. They have money, they have resources, um, they have a good job or a house, a nice car. It's like they are comfortable in the material world, okay? And they are going to make you feel very comfortable as well. Um, so some of that Taurus energy is coming through, but also that Capricorn energy too. Um, all right, you guys. So now I'm going to do the channeled messages. Okay, we have blue. So the color blue, or that could be blue eyes. And you did get the wolf spirit with the gray blue. And I was really picking up on that and feeling that energy. So for some of you, this person has those blue, gray, blue eyes. Okay, like steely. Ooh. Okay. And... Oh, hazel eyes. There you go. Some people think hazel is hazel green. Some pe people think hazel gray, hazel brown. Um, but we've got hazel for some of you. And we have beard. Okay. Average. So average height for wherever you are or whoever, whatever you consider average. Like, obviously, if you're a basketball player, average height is like six foot six <laughs> but you know depending on what you think is average okay we have sandy light here i'm going to do one more from this pile and then we're going to do the purple and good cook oh i love that and that king of pentacles energy would love good food so that really is confirmation of that king of cup uh, king of pentacles energy okay and we have outdoor festival so you may meet at an outdoor festival or go on to an outdoor festival on a date. Risk taker. Okay, so one of you is a risk taker or both. Um, somebody who wants to go on outdoor adventures, do fun things. Okay, we have hotel. Do one more. And kids. Okay, so all of those are part of this and your messages, your channeled messages about your next boyfriend, your next relationship, this person coming in. Okay, guys, now I'm going to pull some charms for you. So turn down the volume if you don't like the loud noise. Right off the bat, you got the beautiful puffed heart. I love this. This is like real, true, like innocent romance or fun, um, but also just like really showing your heart. So I feel like this is someone who really shows their heart. Um, you also got the ballerina, which is about like hard work, perfectionism. This can also be Virgo energy, but also ballerina dance. Somebody might be a dancer. Um, we do have the artist palette. So this is all about a creative person, maybe an artist, someone who draws or paints. Um, we also have the beautiful dove of peace, which I love. It's also a symbol for Aphrodite, um, but I also see that as somebody, this relationship, you know, you started with all that, like two of swords, two of pentacles reversed, um, the hanged man, the nine of swords. And this is more about that peaceful relationship, about that calm, the things not being so back and forth. Um, you did get the guitar, which is also art, an artist, somebody who's creative, music type. Um, you do have the Virgo energy here, which we um, talked about with the King of Pentacles, that earth energy. And you have the beautiful rose, which is a true love symbol, um, could also be a tattoo. Um, so you can pause the video and look at these and see how you connect with them and what you, um, you know, what immediately comes to mind for you. But those are some of the things that come to mind for me. That's what I love about the charms is they're different for everyone. I would love to hear how you guys connect to this today. This is your reading of Who's Your Next Boyfriend. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps me so much. Um, and I really appreciate all of you. All you have to do is click this button to subscribe. It's free. And don't forget, once you subscribe, write your love question below in the comment section. And then I choose one person every month free. 
mini reading. I do a free mini reading, okay? And once you subscribe, also hit the notification bell so that you're notified because I change, I don't post videos on the same day every week. It all really depends. So that way you'll know when I get, when I post a new video um, and watch it as soon as I post it and be the first to write comments because that really, really is fun and really makes me so happy. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love and I'll talk to you. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Let me read my green tea message for today okay you guys it's a really sweet one it is friendship is a sheltering tree which I love okay guys so bye my friends you guys are like a sheltering tree I love you sending you so much love hey guys here is your reading you pick the ten of cups and first we're going to look at your tarot cards then I'm going to pull some oracle cards some channeled messages and charms to look at who your next boyfriend is your next relationship okay so first card is the justice card and you got the queen of swords and you got the king the knight of swords wow okay so lots of sword actually all three are sword energy which is amazing um so first of all we have literally all kind of um sword energy this is really a lot of libra energy the justice card and she you'll see she's got a sword in her hand um and there's the scale of justice right there which is like the balance which is also a sign for libra um so there's a lot of air sign energy here which would be libra aquarius gemini but um it's also just somebody who's really, really clear about what they want, very focused, very sharp, and also very picky. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're very picky about relationships, as you should be. Um, and you might not have felt like in the past that there was a balance, that you got, that you had a fair relationship. You felt like maybe you put in more than the other person did. Um, or if you haven't been in a relationship ever, you just hadn't met this met anyone um, because they just weren't the right fit and you really have really high standards you know exactly what you want and I feel like for a lot of you you're very independent no matter what your sign is you're very independent you're very um, matter of fact you use your mind to make decisions a lot more than your heart you like to really weigh things out um, and be very like practical um, and I do see this person coming in who's really going to match you okay this is someone who's also really picky this is somebody who needs somebody who's going to really stimulate them who's going to talk who's going to like keep them interested and they're going to move really quickly so i do see a lot of air sign energy libra aquarius gemini here for both of you both you and the person coming in as well as just someone who is if you're not an air sign somebody who's just like you in that they're very practical pragmatic they they know what they want they don't mess around and this is the fastest moving night so this energy is going to come in quick when you meet this person you guys are going to connect and it's going to go like that okay so that's very very clear and i love that you guys are you know you have the queen and the knight together um the person might even be a little bit younger than you not a lot but could be um anyway so that's super exciting and very very specific um I'm going to just pull you one more card because I am just wondering. Okay, so I got the Eight of Cups reversed, which is interesting. I was wondering about um, if this person um, is someone that you know. What I got instead was an answer for some of you that are in a relationship, which is interesting. So I just want to give you a message that there is a fear to leave. Even though you think it's unfair, you do feel like um, you are really picky and you found this person, but they really aren't living up to it. So for those people, um, the message is that... Um, there is going to be this energy coming in, which I do think is going to be new energy. And that's something, somebody who's going to be a little bit more up to what you are looking for. Um, so don't be afraid to make that change because I do feel like there's some of you that are in something right now that are a little um, hesitant. And I, I felt like I needed to pull a card and that's why. Okay, guys. So now about this new energy coming in, let's pull some animal cards. Okay, so you got chameleon spirit, act as if, number 14. So number 14 is really important for you guys. That could be birthday, a day of the week, um, you know, a day when you meet. Um, 
and act as if, which is interesting. Okay, let's see what else we get. Um, Sandpiper Spirit. Oh, I love Sandpiper Spirit. Be Playful, number 51. Okay, and that's a six. And Dragonfly. Truth Transcends Illusion. Interesting, because truth is really important to the sword suit. Like, swords are all about speaking your truth and being really clear about it. Um, and it's interesting because... Um, the message of act as if, I feel like that message is really for you. And it's about, um, for some of you being willing to let go of whatever that relationship is, or if you're in one that isn't really happy and, um, positive that, um, just be, just know that it's coming and act as if, and put out your real beauty because there's a playfulness that's going to come with this relationship. And it's like all of this seriousness has to be like softened a little bit and have some fun, be playful. These are those little birds that run along the water. So I'm really seeing like beachy, I'm seeing fun. I'm seeing you getting out and doing something different. And that's going to help you with meeting this person. Um, and you have the beautiful dragonfly spirit, that beautiful spiritual number of 22. Um, for those of you that see 1111 or those numbers are important to you, um, this is a spiritual connection. This is a really important relationship. Um, there also could be a dragonfly tattoo, a dragonfly that, you know, you see dragonflies. This could be one of the um, spirit guides that you have. Um, this is this is really, really beautiful. I love this. It's like you're transforming. And I feel like it's interesting because if you look at the, this card in the chameleon, he changes sign, he changes his colors depending on where he is, right? And so we kind of go from this other harsher energy to a little bit playful, and then you transform, and it's the dragonfly. And it's like, I feel like this person is going to help you release and be less... Um, less protective and more willing to open up your heart, if that makes sense, you guys. Okay, let's pull some um, moon cards for you. Let me pull a moon card. See if we can get some timing for this relationship. Number two. I'm going to take a sip of my tea in just a minute. I do have my green tea and I have a little tea message. So we'll read that. It's a really sweet one today. Okay, wow, look at this. A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. Talk about, <laughs> oh my God, talk about really uh, connecting today, you guys. We have the Justice card, which is the Libra card. Um, there's the scales right here, and here's the scales right there. And it's all about balance and being fair and the air sign and the Libra energy is coming through so strong. So I would say if you're not a Libra, um, the person coming in could be a Libra, but there's just that very strong that strong partnership, that fairness, which is so important. Fairness, oh my gosh, and Libra energy. I love it. Um, let's let's take a tea break, you guys. So have a drink if you want one. Um, this is my green tea, and every time I have green tea, we get a little message. So you guys that haven't watched before, um, this is a fun little extra. So today's quote is, friendship is a sheltering tree, which I absolutely love. Um, Friendship is so important. I'm going to take a quick set. It goes along with your reading as well because, you know, um, some you know when you're in a partnership, it really is, um, it's like you want to be really good friends. And I feel like that's important to you guys. And I feel like um, that message of really connecting and being friends and being fair and like sharing things and giving as much as you get is really, really big in your reading today. Um, okay, now I'm going to pull a color oracle for you. Let's see what message we get about this relationship for my number twos. I'm really feeling this one with the Libra energy today. Frustration. Ooh, and you know, with that um, justice reversed, that is that definitely comes through that I feel like you've been in a relationship for some of you have been in a relationship where it wasn't fair um, or you are in one right now and you're not happy about it. And then there's some of you that are just frustrated because you haven't really found that partner, that perfect mate. Um, so let's pull one more trust. Wow, beautiful. Okay, trust is really important. I think for some of you, um, you may have not been, someone might not have been honest in the past. You may have dealt with people that were liars or, you know, just deceitful. Um, and that, that 
sword energy is it's so important um for people to be honest like that's about speaking your truth that's about that libra energy that justice energy um and space wow okay whenever that comes up um i have a couple of different feelings but for this reading in particular i feel like that this person does not live close by there is some space between you between you and this partner coming in um, either because you are in a relationship so you're not available or for some of you um, they just live in a different place okay and there's energetic space between you and so but you will come together and once you do it's going to hap happen very quickly Okay, look at trust and truth. Yeah, this is really, really powerful, you guys. Okay, I'm going to pull some channeled messages so we can get more details about this person. Number two. First, we'll do the purple pile. Half full. Optimistic. Okay, so this person is somebody who sees life in a very optimistic way the half glass half full person as opposed to the glass half empty physical touch holds hands and hugs okay so there's another characteristic about this person um and we have hazel gray eyes curly hair we'll do one more of these and then we'll do the blue pile Fashion. Okay, some of you may be involved in fashion industry, or they could be involved in the fashion industry, or which has happened a lot when that comes up is the person just really dresses well, or um, you really are into fashion and dress well. Okay, dog. So you could have a dog, they could have a dog. Maybe you meet walking your dog. Black hair. So we have black curly hair and hazel gray eyes. good communicator. Wow, perfect. Because with all of that sword energy, which is all about communicating, that is so perfect. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the charm. So if you guys don't like them, please be sure to turn the volume down because here we go. Number two. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. Um, right off the bat, <laughs> hello, um, we got my Libra charm. This is a biggie, and uh, it doesn't come up all the time. Um, I just did a personal reading for someone, and it came up, which is interesting. Um, so here we have Libra energy, which we definitely felt with that justice card, with the Libra, um, with all of this uh, sword energy. So Libra is coming through pretty strong. Um, here we have Gemini, another air sign energy um, for that sword energy. We have Anchor, which is all about anchoring, wanting a long-term commitment, anchoring. Look at this. Oh my God, you guys. Libra, Libra, Libra. I have to do this. I hate messing them up once I have it all lined up, but I have to, you guys. This is wild. Okay, Libra's coming through super strong, okay? So I just have to show you that this is really big confirmation. Um, okay, so we have dream catcher, which um, can be like you have a dream catcher in your room or you dream of this person or maybe you're dreaming of, you've dreamt of this person and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if that's the case, please comment below. I'd love to hear. Oh, I love when two come out. So look at that. We got two beautiful moons which make a complete circle um and that's another like partnership another balance another libra symbol um but also just really being emotionally connected really really matching each other that could be twin flame energy and you did get the gemini charm as well Ooh, exciting um and look you got dragonfly look here we go we are getting so much confirmation today you guys um, and you've got the sand, um, the starfish, which is the star card, Aquarius, the other air sign, um, but also about healing um, and being able to heal over something. Um, you got the butterfly, which is transformation. Um, we also have 
Aries the Ram energy, um, which is about really going for it and moving quickly, which I think that um, Knight of Swords energy is also. We have the Christmas tree, which is all about like holidays, tradition, family. Um, you've got the cross, which is religion, spirituality. Um, and you also have a number nine on this shirt. So nine could be important, but also it's a um, sports shirt, a soccer outfit or um, softball. You got the beautiful feather, which is a spiritual connection, some a message. Oh, you got two starfish and two moons, you guys, and that beautiful dragonfly. And I said that this was a very spiritual connection, and that's really coming through. And you got the guitar, which could be a guitar player, a musician, um, another Christmas reference. Okay, so this is all about surprises, and to me this is tradition, but this could literally be about meeting at Christmas time um, or something about Christmas for your relationship. Relationship. And we got the beautiful Aphrodite shell. Oh, you guys, you guys got so many good. I loved your charms today and your oracle cards. They really, really connected to the reading. This was a maze. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to write all your stories and comments below. I love knowing how we're connecting. Um, don't forget to comment and like and click the subscribe button, which should be right around here. That really, really helps me. And once you subscribe, write your love question below so I can enter you in for a free mini reading. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. I can't wait to hear all your Libra stories. Bye. Number three, you pick the two of cups. So let's look at your tarot cards first, and then I'm going to pull some oracle cards, some channeled messages for you, and charms to look at who your next boyfriend is. Okay, so we start with the eight of wands. And the King of Wands. Ooh, lots of fire sign energy. Male Leo Sag Aries coming through. Ooh, and Judgment. Okay, number 20. Beautiful. Okay, you guys. So we have lots of fire sign energy here. Now, but what we're starting with with you guys is I'm picking up on a couple of things. If you're in a relationship or if you recently broke up, um, this reading is really telling me that um, if this person is like a Leo Sag Aries or fire sign personality or someone who's just an entrepreneur, someone who's very warm and um, creative or um, just fiery and passionate, um, there is a chance for you guys to reconcile and to work it out. I feel like this person and you both are going to come to some realization and some healing and that is possible. Now, there is some frustration in the past and you just need to sort of give it a break, take some time, because this card is all about taking some time, um, taking a breath, not, you know, doing anything too quickly, um, but that it will sort itself out. Now, if you're single, this is definitely a message of um, this fire sign energy male coming in and that you're finally going to, it's like, you're, you're like, wow, I finally see the light. I've finally gotten what I wanted. Um, and this person is, there has been some delay. There has been some frustration frustration for single people, um, but this guy is coming. And so that's what the universe wants you to know, that there's a fire sign or a passionate person, even if they're not a fire sign, they're just like someone who's creative, someone who's really warm and caring, um, somebody who loves to go on adventures. This could be someone who's foreign. Um, this could be someone that lives in a different country than you or comes from a different country or culture. Um, but there's just, they're interesting. They're adventurous. They're fiery. I love this. This is so beautiful. Um, so this is really positive for both, um, for both singles out there or people that have recently ended something and maybe want to get back together or um, if you're having issues or problems right now in your relationship, I do see that turning around, you guys. So let's get some, this is really fun, more info and details about this fire sign person coming in for you, number three. We'll pull a moon card first. I'm going to do some more oracle cards, and then I'll do channeled messages and charms, okay? So we're doing the whole thing today. These have been very fun. Ooh, look at that. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sag. There we go, fire sign people. Love it. There's some Sag energy. Um, 
this is all about Sag energy, um, just being a little stalled and a little delayed. So there it is. Um, and again, the same thing. I feel like there's two groups of people. And for those of you that are in a relationship, take a step back, take a pause, look at the big picture. It will work itself out. For those of you that haven't been in a relationship, it's like, it's coming, okay? And like I said, that bigger picture message really feels to me like this is someone who could come from a different place, a different culture, could be foreign, um, but just that adventure, that sagginess, Sagittarius, like desire to be, and they're also generous. I feel like this person really would spend a lot of money or just like generous with their time and their efforts. Um, just got a big heart, very warm, um, really nice energy coming through for you guys. Um, let's pull some animal cards and see what details we can get about this person for you, number three. spirit be generous of spirit just what I was saying about um, the Sag energy of being very generous wanting to spend a lot of money wanting to do great things but also warm-hearted kind-hearted there's that Leo energy more fire sign I mean I am so sure about this fire sign energy you guys um, it's not even funny. Okay, Fox Spirit, think on your feet, number 27. Um, this is someone who's really, really smart, and the eyes in both of these are really intense. I think that you're going to be very drawn to this person because of their eyes, okay? You also have the number 27 there and number 37. That could be your age, their age. It could be your birthday, um, an important day. Oh, beautiful peacock spirit. Let it shine. I love this. Number 46 under that judgment card. I do feel, and I love this card because look at the peacock. He's got the heart shining through. And I was just talking about the, the warmth and the Sagittarius energy, that Leo energy, that warm fire sign energy, the wands um, in tarot. And the focus on this card is really this peacock's heart is just coming through and look he's wearing a crown so i am getting a lot of leo symbols here and then we have number 46 okay so i do feel like this person is going to be very attractive there's somebody who like is really put together somebody who you're going to notice okay they like come in and you're like wow okay hello <laughs> that's definitely coming through um i love this one i love this reading for you number three okay i can't wait to please tell me all your fire sign stories um let's pull a color oracle for you and see what messages we have about this relationship coming in this person this fire sign this passionate warm caring balance Wow, okay. Um, that's funny because you start with that wands reversed and then the judgment. So I feel like for some of you, this is that message for the people that have broken up or or are in a relationship which is off balance, that there is a possible a possibility of setting it right. Um, but that also connects with the green and the heart chakra. So this is a real true love. Um, let's pull one more. Peace. Oh, beautiful. I mean, and surrender interesting okay um so you know with the judgment card it really is all like really coming to some epiphany some big moment um maybe for those of you that if you've had a problem in the past with someone is really seeking peace and surrender and just finding that balance um and those of you that this you haven't met this person this person hasn't come in yet um it's really about letting go of of um you know being so frustrated about not having the relationship and just kind of get in that place of surrender and balance and that's when it comes to you it's like this beautiful gift and i think about doves with aphrodite and how they guided her chariot and this is like this is a real movement card as well um and i did feel like this person could be foreign or from a foreign country so that's kind of um bringing that element to it as well um, but yeah, this, this person is just going to make you just feel like you are where you need to be. That's like that judgment, like everything coming, all the stuff that you've worked so hard on or all the relationships that you've went through. It's like you're coming to this beautiful moment of 
finally acceptance and also getting what you deserve okay so that's really a beautiful very spiritual message for you guys um now i'm going to pull some um channeled messages for you number three let's see what info we can get about this person preppy okay so for some of you this person's kind of preppy in their style um like i'm picturing if you're in the states like vineyard vines like that kind of thing like button down shirts collared shirts okay margarita yum a little early for margarita right now for me but i love margaritas um big shoulders oh okay nice i'm really messy today sorry guys and red okay so something about the color red and if you know what that is, please leave it below. But that also just says to me like fiery and passionate and that fire sign energy. Um, strong arms, big shoulders. Okay, so we're definitely getting a personality, a, a physical type there, which is really strong, big. And Jordans. Okay, which are the sneakers. Okay, so they could really be into Jordans. They could really be into... Um, you know, they could have a, a sneaker collection. A lot of guys do. Okay, number three. Let's get more from this pile. We have conservative. Conservative and preppy. Interesting. Okay. Might be a little more conservative in their dress and their out attitude. Okay, we got beard. Oops, these are together. We got motorcycle and clothing store. I'm going to pull one more. That kind of goes along with Jordan's. And short hair. Short hair, beard, motorcycle, strong arms, big arms. Um, lots of details there. Now I'm going to pull you um, some charms. So if you want to turn the volume down, because it's a little louder, if you've got your earbuds on, here we go. So first of all, we have the Scorpio charm. Okay, so we've got some Scorpio energy there. We also have the seashell, um, which is like beach energy, going to the beach, could be vacation. Um, and we do have two anchors here. Look at this, um, which I love because it's like you both want to anchor to one another. You both are really into long-term commitment and being together. Um, believe in love. You also got the beautiful, um, the tree of life or, and this is really all about growing something together, but also I get like a family connection here or family being really supportive. Um, also someone who has maybe a family business or um, is really successful. Um, and we have the beautiful lotus flower, which I love, a beautiful um, flower growing out of the mud. Um, we have the cross, which is the spirituality connection. We have the beautiful, <laughs> we have the little crown, which is all about um, prince or princess. And that's also that Leo energy. Um, here's another family symbol, the elephant, also maternal stuff, having mother, having mothers, being close to mother and sisters, aunts, cousins, lots of female energy around, but family, female, not like other girlfriends. Um, the coffee shop or tea, um, meeting out at a coffee shop for your first date, going there, um, you could work there, they could work there. Two shells, two of the Aphrodite love shells, two of the anchors. Um, so you guys are on the same page, you want the same same things. Somebody who's really takes care of themselves and also is nurturing and caring for you. Um, you did get the deer, which is, I always think it's like when you see them or they see you, you're like stopped in your tracks. Like, wow. Okay. Really attracted and, um, freedom, which I love. That's a real Sag charm for me. So that Sag energy is really being confirmed. So we got lots of fire sign energy. Um, and, um, lots of clues about this person in your reading today. I really, really loved it. It's so fun. Today was really kind of like three separate, very separate. Sometimes they're intertwined, um, and you, you probably will get a little bit of a message in each. 
but for for today I just felt like they were very very um, specific um, so I also before I go you guys I'm going to take a sip of my tea and I wanted to read to you in case you didn't get our little green tea message friendship is a sheltering tree look at you you got your beautiful tree um, and thank you for being all of my friends and for watching I love doing your readings please be sure to like comment and click the subscribe button it's free it helps so much it helps me continue to be able to bring you this free content and um it it's like likes really help a lot too once you subscribe and if you already do subscribe don't forget to write your love question below because i do pick one person a month for free mini reading okay guys i'm sending you so much love i hope you have a beautiful day and remember that friendships is a sheltering tree so i am like a little tree around you bye my friends